Alright, there's a video for 2HT and 2VT about exercise 31 and also exercise 32 of chapter 8. Chapter 8 is mostly about, first it was about areas and volumes, and now it's about enlargements. Let's take a look at exercise 31. It says that Paula has a 12 cm by 18 cm photograph of Lady Gaga. She wants to enlarge the photograph to frame it as a poster for her room. She has the frames 60, 60 by 80 cm, also 54 by 81 cm, 66 by 100 cm, and 72 by 109 cm. She wants to enlarge it in such a way that it fits exactly into one of these frames. Which of the four frames will she pick? Okay, so this exercise doesn't have a lot to do with all the other things that we did earlier. It's just a different exercise. But what you need to see is, here we have a picture that's 12 by 18 centimeters. So there's a certain ratio between the length and the width. And we need to figure out where is that ratio the same. Now one thing that you should notice is that 18 is exactly 1.5 times 12. right? Because if you take half of 12, that's 6. And if you add it to it, you get 18. So we're looking for one of these frames where the height is also exactly 1.5 times the width. So what you could do is you could just calculate where that's the case. So if you do 60 times 1.5, you get 90. Oh, here it says 80, so that wouldn't fit. If you do 54 times 1.5, you get 81. So that's it. We have it. The frame where it fits is the frame that's 54 by 81 centimeters. That's the frame that we're looking for. Okay. But like I said, exercise 51, 51 sorry, was uh, completely different than what we did earlier. The next exercise, though, exercise 32, is something similar that we did the previous lesson, and I'm going to explain why. It says here that the uh, Delator company has two Eiffel Tower models in its collection. The picture on the right shows the true model, um, shows the true size of the two models. Model B is an enlargement of model A. Calculate the scale factor. So here we have model A and model B. Now one thing that's weird though, it says that model B is an enlargement of A, but B is smaller. Now what that means, an enlargement can actually be smaller, because then the scale factor is smaller than 1. Let me explain why, using the previous page. Here it says, the formula for a scale factor is the distance in the image divided by the corresponding distance in the object. Now this sounds very difficult, so I'm going to explain it using some easier words and using an exercise we did last week. Last week we did this exercise about these two dinosaurs, and you need to figure out what the scale factor was. Right? That was one of the questions. Now the way to do that is if you know this length, and if you know the complete length of this dinosaur, you can do 1 divided by the other. So the length of the enlargement divided by the length of the original, uh, that is the scale factor. Now here we didn't see this length, so we had to use this, like, this upper jaw, we could measure that. But basically what it says here, in easier words, would be the distance in the enlargement, which is also called the image, divided by the distance in the original which is also called the object. Right? So you can do enlargement divided by original and then you have the scale factor also if you don't like these words or if you didn't know what they meant. So we're going to go back to this exercise. It says here that model B is an enlargement of model A. So the scale factor is going to be negative because for example if the scale factor is 0 0.5 that means that it becomes well, half as big. Okay. Now, if you want to calculate the scale factor, you have to know some lengths. So we need to measure how big these things are. So let's put a uh, ruler over here. Let's put this at the top there and this at the bottom. So we could see that it's 8 centimeters and 1 millimeter. So 8.1 centimeters. Now, if we measure this one, then I measure that this one is, you can see it here more clearly, let me see, this is one, yeah, I think it's exactly 5, is it not? Yeah, I think so, 5.1. Let's use 5.1. This was 8.1 and this was 5.1. Now, if you're making this exercise and you're a little bit off, if you have 5, right, or 5.2, well, then that's not really wrong because you can be off a little bit. If you want to calculate the scale factor, if you go from here to there, we need to do the enlargement divided by the original. Now this one is called the enlargement even though it's smaller. Okay, so don't be confused about that. 
let's calculate what the scale factor is and that was exercise a the length in the in version b right we have to divide that with the length of model a so the enlargement divided by the original let's calculate what that is we get 5.1 divided by 8.1 and then we have doesn't say on how many decimal places we have to round off, so I'm just going to be using two decimal places here. We get 0 0.63. That means that object B is 0 0.63 times as big as object A. All right. Let's move on to exercise B. The question says, Delator also offers a model C with a height of 12 centimeters. Model C is an enlargement of model A. At what height does the second floor start at model C? Okay, so first we need to establish where the second floor is, right? I think the first floor is over here, and I think the second floor is over here. But first we need to figure out what the scale factor is. Now, we already measured this. This is 8.1. Now, if I chose 8, this exercise would have been a bit easier. But yeah, I chose 8.1, so we're going to use that. So first I need to know what is the scale factor. Model C is 12 centimeters tall. That's what the question said so the scale factor the scale factor is 12 divided by 8.1 right the length in the enlargement divided by the length in the original so we have 12 divided by 8.1 and then I get 1.48 if I round it off to two decimal places the question is where does the second floor start at model C so what we need to do now is we need to measure where the second floor, so this floor over here, where does it start in model A? So I'm going to be holding this geometrical triangle over here. It's a bit hard to see where exactly, especially in this video here, but you can see that the second floor starts over there, right? So I need to look at it very closely. And I think it's, well, it's very hard to see. Let me move it a bit over here. All right. I think it starts at 2.8. All right, so it starts at 2.8 centimeters high in my figure. Now, if you have 2.7 or 2.9, that's not really a problem, right? But um, the height of the second floor, second floor in model C, I don't like writing, equals, so in model A it was, 2.8, that's what I said, right? 2.8 times 1.48, because 1.48 is the scale factor. So if you multiply 2.8 with that, we know the height that it would be in model C. So we have 2.8 times 1.48, and then we get rounded off to one decimal place, we get 4.1. So this is how high the second floor starts in model C. So thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.